This is Chris Kell with the introductory video for Average Reveal Daily. First, allow me to welcome you to our program and thank you for choosing Average Reveal Daily. This system is based upon my many years of doing core training for models, actors, figure competitors, and new moms just like anyone that's watching this video. All right? The reality is that the key to a well-defined or flat stomach and well-defined abs is a combination of both what we eat and don't eat, posture, and intense ab circuits are going to be performing this program. So while I, while I want you to perform the circuits and have success with that as well, I want you to watch our nutritional presentation also to really get an idea of how to clean up your diet specific to getting a flat stomach. So with that said, the, uh, this, the purpose of this video is just to kind of explain the way our program works. Okay, the, the way our program is set up is that you're going to get a daily email with an app circuit that describes exactly what to do um, with just basic exercises on a daily basis. Yeah, our workouts are anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. You can perform them anywhere without any equipment. And the way it's set up is that we have two types of workouts. Number one, we have a core strength workout. Core strength workout are based upon exercises like sit-ups, leg lifts, things that are based upon um, lifting the heaviest weight possible, doing the most reps as possible, and really working on strengthening the abs. We also have what are called stability workouts, and stability days are just a, about holding our back flat in exercises like planks and dead bugs, where the objective is not to do as many reps as possible, but it's just to stay up, and I'll explain that as we go along. So with our strength exercises, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how that's set up. Generally, we do anywhere from two to three exercises, perform back to back for anywhere from 40 to 60 seconds each. Okay, so I would say, all right, our exercises for today are a straight leg sit up, a reverse crunch, and a, and a hollow hold. And what I do in our strength exercise, and, and the goal is to make things harder. All right, so the way it works is I give you three levels. All right, so for the straight leg sit up, we have three levels that we can work on. Number one, at level one, the most basic one would be pressing my legs into the chair, hands above me, and I'm just sitting straight up. The goal is to keep the feet on the floor and not bounce, okay? So I'm looking for this. If I can do that, I remove the chair, I raise my arms up, and I just sit straight up, okay? And if that's still easy, the hardest level would be for me to put my hands on my head and do the same thing, which is going to be much harder. Okay, so let's say that in round one, I start out with performing 40 seconds of straight leg sit-ups with my legs in the chair. If I can get through that with proper form, I'm going to move to level two for the next round. So I go straight leg sit-ups, followed immediately by my reverse crunch, which would look like this. Okay, followed immediately by a hollow hold. Okay, and so that would, those exercises each would last about a minute. So I've, I've gone through minutes, now I'm back to my original exercise, which is my straight leg sit up. I did level one pretty easily, so I'm gonna move to level two, okay? And again, I can do it, it's a little bit harder, so I've decided to stay there, all right? So let's say I go through the workout and I do level one, in the, uh, one first, I do level two on the next round, and then I move back to level one. What I would post in our forum is that I did the level two exercise, or the level two version of the straight leg sit-up because I'm trying to make it, um, I want to post my best total, okay? So um, I would say, yeah, I did level two of the straight leg sit-up, level two of the reverse crunch, and a hollow hold. So that way I know that next time I post, you know, maybe I try to do more reps than I did um, on, you know, that on the first day or maybe I'm trying to move to level three. I'm just trying to make it harder in some way, but the goal is post your best level and then also post the number of reps that you get as well. So on level two, let's say I get eight reps. Even if you can just add two reps on the next workout, you still make progress. And we always want to try to add in order to um, increase our results, all right? So that's the goal for our strength exercises. With our stability exercises, we're still generally going to have maybe three exercises performed back to back, but the goal of this would be actually performing exercises like a plank, where I might be moving my legs or my arms, but my back, the goal is just to stay up, to keep my back flat like a table. So with this, I'm not trying to do as many reps as possible, I'm actually trying to move very slow. I'm just trying to keep a very flat back, 
All right, that's the goal. You should be able to sort of play the food off of your back versus allowing it to arch. Okay, and it's the same idea for the dead butt position. All right, what I want to do is be able to press my back flat against the floor and extend my legs out or my arms out as far as I can without allowing my back to arch. So I'm pressing my back into the ground, get my abs tight, and I, I, you know, let's say I start this, uh, this circuit with dead bug leg extensions like I'm doing here. All right, if this were the level one exercise, you know, and I do it pretty successfully and I'm able to get through, then I would move to level two, which would be with my legs wide. All right, so that's harder for me. And when I get out to about here, my back starts to arc. So I'm going to stay here. All right, again, what I, what I do here is I just say, all right, level two is my best sport for the day. So that's what I'm posting. You're always going to be given levels for the exercises that we give you. I just want you to choose the level that's appropriate for you and just try to make that harder. Post your results in our forum, and that's the way it works there. And really, more than anything, just try to interact as much as you can with me. You can post questions for us in our Facebook forum. Um, you know, you can find workout buddies there. You can, uh, you can really find, and we provide your resources throughout the month and uh, information in order to be really successful. So I welcome you to the program. Please ask me any questions that you need. Um, I'm always there to support you. Private message me. And thank you so much for choosing Atrophy Daily.